folks uh, I'm just up at Assel Bank this is where I was brought up and uh, as I swing round that's where the Red Lion pub used to be there yeah, this is Church Road I'm on and then coming back round is uh, Pope's Lane and then this is at the Assel Bank first school where I used to go uh, to school anyway I'm going to carry on round and get a few shots this is a uh, view down uh, Church Road there, I well, we should have walked back up there in a bit or walk down but that's where the Red Lion pub used to be and this is Castle Street here so we're going to carry on walking round uh, Poverty, I've got Olivia with me uh, and Pluto but this is Poverty which uh, I've been up here many a times on my bike, scooter and walking this takes us up to uh, Eversham Road which will be many years ago I used to walk up here every morning and then wait for a lift to work when I worked at the VW garage Johnson Brothers anyway we'll carry on walking up Right, so I've just spotted some uh, little flowers down here, so uh, I'm just going to get a shot of them before Pluto down here decides to water them. There's a uh, oh, too late. Anyway, we'll carry on uh, walking round. But, uh, still going up poverty. The uh, that used to be uh, oh, go down a bit. That was the police station. That's the back of the house there and this is uh, the walk of poverty it's a bit overgrown now I've got a feeling I reckon at one time you could rise to ride down here on my motorbike I think but the hedge has really grown and uh, you know it's just about to walk down here at the moment but uh, there's a bus stop at the top which I caught many a time the 147 to uh, Redditch. Anyway, just coming up to the top now. So this was the police station on the right. So we'll carry on up. The old police station there. That door there was where uh, we used to have to go in. I've been in a few times. I, when I was about five or six, I found a hat and uh, took it in. And uh, three months later, the copper brought it back round and gave it to me. Anyway, we'll carry on walking round. Anyway, we're going along now, and uh, I fell off my bike just here many years ago. I was riding on the pavement just in this spot here where uh, the big bicycle pump I had in my hand went through my front wheel. I ended up uh, going head first, which was pretty painful. Uh, there used to be, these used to be flats here, they were really rough years ago. Now it's uh, all been done up. The uh, Stanley's garage, it's now Morrison's. Uh, um, when I was a kid it was Stanley's garage. Uh, Bill Stanley was the owner and uh, John Stanley's son. I pulled up there many a times on my motorbike and got some fuel it's on the right this used to be Yeoman's this it's now uh, called Yeoman's uh, Close there because obviously that was Yeoman's factory I'll just carry on up a little bit uh, John Waring if you do happen to watch this I think this is where you used to live just going to do another little shot there and so this is Eversham Road Astral Bank here's Olivia walking along uh, the top of the main road I remember years ago when I was at school I had to stand uh, and some of the royal family went past and we had to stand and wave a flag just here that was many years ago coming up to the top of Church Road now that's the uh, top of church 
goes and we're now going to walk down uh, we should come past the church in a minute one of the reasons why I suppose it was called Church Road um, John Ems he used to live down here a bit further down the left old sign on the wall here I've never seen it before but it's really faded here's the church here um, uh, we're going to cross over in a sec um, John Ems' house was one of these down here and they're going to cross the road uh, just walking down past the uh, church obviously that's the vicar's house where it used to be and uh, here's the church here we had so many good times here this is the church, the sign and uh, that's the church all there we used to come to jumble sales there when we were kids and then they used to have a, a little disco on a Friday night which we used to uh, come to and I don't know if the bell still works but it's up there so that's the uh, church the church road astral bank up to uh, the astral bank first school here um, it's all changed but that's my old classroom there and that's me well that was my classroom and uh, that was the entrance where we used to go in it was a uh, infant school it's the first school i think now and then there's another classroom just there and uh it's funny these gates they they look a bit uh, the walls look a bit small from the last time i was here but there's another shot of the school which was my uh, first school i went to I've now got a, a cross in here. Uh, when I was about nine years old, my brother Jeff, uh, we were playing just down here and he got run over by a coal lorry just down here. Anyway, I'm not talking anymore about that. But that uh, house in the middle, that's used to where the teachers used to live. But I now think it's part of the school. This is new. That's the same. Uh, building there which uh, we used to go in there that was like where we used to do the PE and it was like uh, I think we used to do a uh, uh, in the morning we used to have to go and sing a prayer and whatever just in there but uh, coming back up again I say that's where the Red Lion pub was and this um, building here Many years ago, they used to have an air raid shelter on that wall there, and I jumped off it one day, and I didn't bend my knees when I landed, and uh, my uh, feet were really aching. And there used to be outside toilets uh, over on that wall there. So uh, anyway, we're going to have a walk down Pope's Lane there. Going down Pope's Lane. There's my Nissan Leaf there. Uh, that used to belong to Mrs. Hartles years ago. I used to go with my trolley and do my shopping for here. And that was the Croucher's house there. They were, he was a milkman. And uh, that's where I used to go. And we used to come and have uh, bonfires there. It used to be a slaughterhouse down here and Bill James that was his uh, place there and there we carry on down um, Pope's Lane there used to be a, a field here where we used to ride 
uh, motorbikes around the field. In fact, this road here, when I was about 12, I used to ride a motorbike up and down here. And so we carry on down, and so there's a field in the minute we're going to come to. I'll tell you about that when we get there. Um, so walking down Pope's Lane, uh, I've got a new microphone on. It looks like a dead ferret on top of my camera or something really, but uh, they call it dead cat, the uh, stop the wind noise. But uh, anyway, we're coming up to the field now, which uh, is behind me. That's where we used to ride our motorbikes around here. There was a pond there, and we used to go fishing when we were kids. We didn't have a proper fishing rods. We used to just have a bent needle in the pond and uh, had some good times there. Anyway, I'm going to carry on now walking down uh, Pope's Lane. I'm just going to try and zoom in on Olivia, who's just behind me there with a the dog. Join the walk, Olivia? Yeah. Good. Thought he was going to say no then, but yeah, it's a nice, um, it's a nice day. It's not windy today, uh, and uh, anyway, we're going to go a bit further down to another little place that we used to come and play. Coming down Pope's Lane. Now this here, uh, we used to call it the Sandy Banks. We spent many an hour. Uh, just here, climbing up there, uh, we'll zoom up a little bit, we used to climb up around them trees, all around this bit here, we had many an hour uh, having a great time just here in the good old days, that's the sandy banks what we used to call it, the uh, horses. Um, there never used to be horses when we were here when we were kids in that field, but uh, uh, anyway, there's some horses there, look quite nice. Olivia's uh, got the dog, he's, uh, I don't know if he's stuck, <laughs> yeah, he's been doing a bit of off-roading. So we'll carry on walking down a bit further. I'm not going to zoom right in, but over there, that was a... Uh, slaughterhouse there um, so now it's uh, all looks like barn conversions and everything how times are changing and coming around this side uh, there's a horse there and uh, oops first bit of wind to try me uh, microphone out. I did make my own. I'm uh, walking back up now um, and we're going to go and carry on down Church Road. Uh, Olivia's showing Pluto the horses in the background. Uh, I quite like, uh, I'm just practicing here, I'm not very, getting very good at trying to zoom in at uh, stuff uh, that's it uh, yeah there's the horse there in the background and bring it back out to me uh, yeah so uh, yeah so we're on the lockdown and uh, I'm missing doing me uh, general photography where I normally do but uh, doing this video what I've been doing over the last few weeks is uh, give me something to do uh, hopefully people that can't get about if they watch it it's uh, you know gets you out of the house in a way you can without having to move you can make yourself a cup of tea and uh, watch me anyway uh, catch you in a bit I'm just going to say hi to Ray uh, he might be watching this and uh, my son Paul and um, my kids Lisa, well happy birthday tomorrow for Lisa for your birthday and uh, anyway catch you in a bit they still right there it's Olivia and Pluto and uh, they're um, Pluto's uh, 
looking at the horses which is nice to see and uh, just going to um, zoom back up just going to enjoy it here Olivia? yeah good Pluto alright? good oh it's uh i've just turned my microphone up i'm just trying a different set in there so we'll see what that's like but, uh we'll carry on up i'm just going to get a picture of you olivia while i'm videoing it's a good thing i like about this little camcorder pluto <laughs> you can get uh pictures of your video here so uh, there's Olivia and Pluto and we've got uh, some horses there having their dinner we've got one coming over to say hello I think no it's, uh, Olivia used to love horses when she was used little she used to go horse riding didn't you Right, we'll carry on then, Olivia. Okay. Yeah, nice horses. And uh, I say, all that down there used to be the slaughterhouse, and now it's all houses. Well, the dog seems to be uh, fascinated by the horses. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we'll be carry on their travels. Yeah. Now we're in back to the car. Um, it's made a bit of a memory to come and have a walk around Nassau Bank, especially coming down here, down Pope's Lane. So, uh, a bit of exercise as well. So, uh, anyway, we'll catch you in a bit. This field's overgrown, I'm sure that uh, it was a public footpath here those are the Malvern Hills in the background there so uh, it's a nice view but uh, I'm sure this was a public footpath here years ago I'll have a look I'll check the uh, on Google about that Anyway, we'll carry on walking along. Now walking uh, down uh, Church Road. I say this was the was the Red Lion pub on the left. A chap called Neville Barnes used to live there on the right, and uh, it's. Um, it's all changed. There's lots of uh, the houses, lots of them had extensions. These flats here, I can remember when they were built, there used to be um, a needle factory there and they knocked it down. Uh, I think I was about 12, 10, 9 years old and they uh, knocked it down. And that used to be the Rosie Case's house there, or was it one of these? And uh, carrying on down, that house there on the left, that's in the garden of my mum's old house there. Um, now, this hedge here is uh, still the same edge from when we were lived here, this bit. And then this green here is where I used to play on when I was a kid and uh, it's actually up for sale now. Which one is it? Number 33 there. So uh, um, yeah that's the, the old days. Uh, probably still got some of my mum's uh, plants in the garden. And so this was the green where we used to play um football on and uh we're just gonna walk 
round it now back to it had a bit of a malfunction the microphone where it fits on started to come a bit loose anyway so here's the green here and uh, again that's another shot of uh, my old family home there and uh, had some good and bad times there uh, and there's a hedge there we used to play and uh, coming down now uh, there's a tree here which we used to all play with when we were kids this used to be one garden and then uh, the council made a car park on that so uh, this tree here which you can't see much of it now but that's where uh, we used to sit and play when we were kids I'm just gonna now we're back uh, to Pope's Lane we're gonna go to the car we're gonna have a little drive around Astle Bank uh, we're being me Nissan Leaf so you won't hear any engine sounds Olivia's going to do the filming as we drive round so uh, we'll uh, catch you all in a bit we're now sat in the car Pluto as well and uh, he's been a good dog today thank you Pluto you alright? yeah? so Pluto's posing away there. We're now going to walk round us, walk round. We're going to drive round, uh, and Olivia's going to do a little bit of filming, so speak to you in a bit. Uh, I've got Olivia at the uh, camera, and uh, with me Nissan Leaf, which is full electric car, which is uh, very good. I've had it for about four years now, and uh, it's uh, been really good. So we're at the top, well, not the top of church, we're halfway by the Red Lion. We used to call it the Dead Lion. So Olivia's going to now film down the road. And uh, going past my old house, uh, brought up. We're going to take a left now down to Fecknam Road, which. Uh, this has all changed. It used to be, well that Pearmans is on the right, which is probably still there, and then uh, round here on the right there used to be a shop that used to be Mr. Price's sweet shop there, and then um, I know the Almonds live on the left there, that probably have. Mrs. Cave used to live along here, and there used to be a water, uh, big water tank there on the left and um, that's the bottom end of Castle Street and coming up on the left uh, used to be the Crane pub there on the left Olivia but it's no longer and then on the right was a factory um, uh, I think it was Catamol's I know Catamol's was along there that's Hancock's store on the right that's uh, been there for uh, many years. And there is a Methodist church on the right, whether it's still one or not, but I think it is. That's Butler Street on the left. And uh, we're now going to turn down Chestnut Road, uh, not Chestnut Road. Uh, Hooper's Lane, that's it, yeah. And on the left here was when I broke my arm when I was about four in the fields on the left there. This used to be all factories on the right there. Uh, we're now coming to Chestnut Road. So, um, so we're driving along Chestnut Road at the moment. And uh, as I say, it's all changed. I wouldn't really want to live a Vassal Bank uh, myself now because it just seems very overcrowded. All the houses and parking and stuff. 
That's, we're now on Avenue Road, which uh, again you can see by all the cars everywhere, the parking must be a nightmare if you live up here. Um, so we're now coming up to the Bell Pub on the left, which uh, is obviously it's closed at the moment because of the uh, coronavirus. And we're now on the main road, and there used to be a pub called the Woodman years ago, and then that used to be a cobbler's, Mr. Newman, he drained many years ago. We're now coming through to Astral Bank, and there used to be a bank here on the left, and the post office. Uh, now the post office, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, the butchers there, the co-op, used to be on the left there and then coming along here now it was Sabin's garage George Sabin that used to uh, have a garage there an MOT station and then coming up to the traffic lights here you've got the park on the right and then on the left is Fecknam Road that's where the Astle Bank Park is and we're now heading down towards Sanborn and this is where Olivia can uh, zoom to me and say that's the end of this vlog or blog uh, and we'll uh, catch you on the next time folks. All the best. Stay safe.